Okay. Yep. Out. One more. Okay. Out. Come next to him. Walk away. Tell him to bite. Okay. Right. Again. Out. Come next to him. Praise him. Good boy. Walk away. Tell him to bite. Praise him. Good boy. Uh, when you try to get control in protection, you're telling the dog to come back to you. You're telling the dog to heal with you. You're telling the dog to let go for you. So there is no reason if you want to emphasize and balance your control with reward the decoy should not give reward on its yes. own. When the sleeve pops up very quickly, that will trigger the bite and the dog will bite. That has nothing really to do with the bite on command that we are talking about. Now, if we go with the stick as a threat and the sleeve at the same time, again, the, as soon as the sleeve moves, that will trigger the bite and that's serves as a permission to the dog telling him it's okay to bite now that movement okay now if the sleeve stays here and just the stick comes out as a threat a lot of dogs wouldn't bite because they're used to waiting for that invitation of the sleeve you want to make sure that to train the dog as a helper and as a handler that anytime there is a threat the dog bites the sleeve without the sleeve moving. Okay, now when we do the bite on command, nothing will move. Now if the handler give a bite command and the decoy makes a movement, even though the handler gave a command, the dog still bites because of that movement. So we have to really make sure that the dog understands to bite on command only. So. I'm gonna show you now with the dog how it's done. Okay, now the bite on command without the thread of the stick and without the movement of the sleeve. Since he's my dog, I'm giving him the command myself, uh, but it would make no difference if someone else is on the sleeve. Pusni. Pusni. Now, if I say the bite command and move the sleeve, the movement will override the verbal cue because the movement obviously is much stronger. So if we do this, he reacted on the sleeve mainly, not on my command. Therefore, pussy. Therefore, he still believes that the decoy will be rewarding him instead of the handler on the other end. Okay? So, once again, you have the two different attacks. The one is simply by bringing the popping of the sleeve upwards. The other one is by going stick and sleeve at the same time up. The third one is only the stick threatening the dog without the sleeve movement until the bite. And the last one is the bite on command. Pussy. 